Ultraman Towards the Future is a 2D fighting game based on the Japanese superhero Kaiju. It was developed by a company called BEC. I don't know, it might be called Beck, I have no idea. Which is owned by the game's publisher, Bandai Namco. It was released exclusively for the Super Nintendo. Now, the graphics of the game aren't great, as you can see upcoming here. The fighting is also very hard if you don't know what you're doing, and the game doesn't tell you what to do. And even when you do know what you're doing, it's still challenging, and actually quite boring. I love kaiju fighting games. I play a lot of Godzilla games and other uh, games like that, like um, uh, Bakugan Defenders of the Core, and just um, other and um, yeah, pretty much other games like that. But this game did not satisfy me. I know it's like I know it's a um, those games I mentioned are 3D fighters, but 2D fighters are fun too. This one was not. This game's actually just kind of boring. I mean, it's cool that they have an Ultraman game out there. I've never actually seen anything Ultraman, which I, I really want to, so. I saw this and I had to pick it up, but eh, I'm kind of regretting that now. But it does have a lot of, like, the uh, well-known monsters from the Ultraman series in the game that you're fighting. When it shows finish on an enemy's health heart, the game doesn't tell you what to do. I had no idea what to do. I had to pause the game and search. I would pause for like five minutes too. What you have to do is use your level four power, which I had no idea how to switch to or even use. You do have to wait for uh, like the t there's little switches like that'll like go up. You have to wait for your power to increase to get to level four. And then when it says finish, you gotta use that and kill him. It's not a bad concept, but when you don't know how to even do it? I mean, seriously, that's... I mean, I, I, I will say I don't have the instruction manual, but... And I know, like, a ton of games like this didn't really give you instructions, but come on, just, like, flash something that says press such and such. I don't even remember what the freaking button was now. Because I don't care, I'm never going to play it again, probably. There was also a three-minute time limit, which I never which I never had it run out, because I never paid attention to it. But it probably got close, because it can be hard to defeat the enemies, and really just not even really paying too much attention, because it got boring. So, my score for Ultraman Towards the Future... I would have to unfortunately say 5 out of 10, just because it's not a really fun fighting game. And it's, there's, it's almost player hostile in a way, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, want to hit that like button below. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to join the Mad Fire Nation. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.